good morning, afternoon, evening, all of the above. Right, this is the challenge that I've accepted from Photos by Finch. Now this is to build something and photograph it, taking one shot, okay? So, because I didn't want this video to be six and a half days long, I will not be building my Technics Corvette, okay? I think we'll leave that one for a, uh, for a ten-parter another time. Uh, no, I'm not gonna muck about with that one. But what I have got is, you will see in here, a Lamborghini. Okay, a Lego Airfix, not sponsored by Lamborghini. So, stick around. Let's see how we go. Now, chances are, this is gonna take me a few minutes, okay? I have got the seats pre-installed, the uh, Recaro bucket seats, four point harness. They are pre-installed, they don't have to be, look, just thought I'd save myself a load of time and put them in already. So, the rest is just here. So while I build, um, let's just have some nice music. No, I'm joking, we're not having music. No, what have I been up to? I'll build this and we'll chat. What have I been up to? I have, talking cars, actually, I, my boss has an incredibly nice Porsche Panamera. I believe that's uh, the one you say, the four-door one. Don't know why he hasn't got kids, he just likes the Panamera. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Cheers, Ben. Um, so, yeah, I took a few shots of his motor, and um, I'll put those on sort of around here somewhere while I'm uh, while I'm trying to build this and see how we get on. But, yeah, it's, um, it's a tech art... The only one in the country, I believe they only released one in white and one in black. And I think there's 25 of each, possibly. Don't quote me, I have had a quick look online. The information's not that hard, uh, not that easy to find, to be fair. Um, but yeah, they didn't make many of them. And I know that the white one has gone to Europe. So there is only this one black one in the country, uh, which obviously makes it quite rare. Um, and that's the front door, that goes on that front door. It's only two door, they're all bloody front doors. Um, if it's got to go off. So yeah, um, nice motor, really nice, 680 horsepower or something he said, bloody ridiculous. So yeah, I took a few snaps of that on the way out of work, which was very nice. Um, so there you go, you can have a look at them. Then, oh this bit's a pain. Come on Chris, this is like, I didn't build that Technics one by the way, the wife built that. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. I'm not very, um, Art and oh, I'm missing a bit. I'm not very art and crafty, believe it or not. I've got an alright eye for a picture, and that's about it. Now, one thing Ben didn't say when he didn't specify his rules was that I couldn't edit it. So you may have an idea what's coming if I can figure this out. Jesus, you'd think I'd have some practice runs or something, wouldn't you? But no, I didn't. I just thought, no, we'll just build it. Be easy. Yeah, it's only a Lamborghini. How hard can it be? We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Here we go. That's going to go. That goes under there. So I reckon that goes on there. Oh, here we go. See, I could have sped this up or I could have just, you know, done a blue Peter on you all and said, oh, here's one I made earlier. But, you know, I like to keep it real. I like to see my daily struggles. You know what I mean? I should have got the kids to build it. They'd have done it in five seconds, probably. Here we go. Here we go. I'll just put the roof on. He says, oh, don't tell me the roof goes on first. Bloody hell. Hang on. Technical difficulties. See what I've got robots building these in real life. Come on. No, oh, that's upside down. And we have, in probably about four and a half minutes, a Lamborghini Aventador. There we go. Airfix Lego Lamborghini type thing. That squeaks a bit. So, that is the building. <coughs> Excuse me, losing my voice. <coughs> I've had a bit of a cold nap recently, actually. It's a bit rubbish, and the weather's been rubbish, and yeah, it's, it's been hard work. Anyway, so, being the Boy Scout that I was, went from beavers, swam up the river, like we had to, uh, up to cubs, then up to scouts. Uh, my dad was a scout leader, so I got more beatings than anybody else in scouts, that's for sure. But anyway, um, because I'm a good Boy Scout, I am already prepared with a VT. So, Ben, 
thank you for the challenge. Stick around as well after the challenge. I've got a few more bits to go through. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run a quick VT of what i done for the photo with this car. You've seen me build it. Now see what I've done with it. Go! <laughs> was that hey eh? not bad thanks Ben for the challenge um, yeah a bit of merging a bit of double exposure remember all on a mobile phone as well with my little, uh, my little stylus pen so yeah that came out good now I have got a couple more things that I want to go through only I've put one down I don't know where I've put it we'll go through the first thing first hold tight so oh my days oh Oh, I'm going to get an Oscar for that acting. Um, this is a whopping great lens, okay? Now, let me just get up the cocaine scales and we will uh, weigh it. Um, they're not cocaine scales. I do not do drugs. I do not do drugs. Nobody do drugs. They're bad for you. Who needs drugs? Um, anyway. Five and a half stone. Jesus. Five and a half stone. So yeah, I'm going to go out and do a vlog of it and um, see what we can get. It is one of those mirror ref ref refractor, if I can speak, a mirror refractor lens. So it's a 500mm set focal length, set aperture, f8. It's a bit of a beast to work with. Um, the reason obviously it's quite short compared to a 500mm that would normally be this long is because it sends the image in, hits the mirror, comes back to another mirror, goes back into the sensor, essentially cutting your screen down by half but still increasing the focal length. Um, that, I think, is how it works. I'm probably completely wrong. Um, check out AWP, um, Andrew Walton Photography, on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's his channel. He's got a bit more in-depth one on one of these. Um, I was lent this by Mr. Singh, and he said, Chris, I got this for 70 quid with a two-time extender. Um, apparently it's a bit threaded on the uh, on the thread, so he said I knocked him down in price. They're going for about 150, 70, pick up the odd one for 100 odd on eBay. Not the sharpest, not the easiest to work with, but pretty cool. Um, you know, worth having a go for nothing, without a doubt, and probably worth the price just to give you a different direction in some photography to practice, to see if you enjoy it, whatever. But it's not that easy to work with, because you've got to have your... Shutter speed faster than your focal length. Focal length's 500, so you need a shutter speed faster than that to try and knock out any sort of motion blur. It obviously, it hasn't got any stabilisation. It's got nothing electronic whatsoever. So then you've got to bump up your ISO so you get quite noisy pictures. Obviously, wildlife, you can't really shoot on a tripod. It's not the easiest lens to work with, that's for sure. But it's, um, hey, it's a bit of fun. It's an excuse to make another vlog, and I'll see how I get on with it. Now, there is one more thing, but I've got to go and find it, so bear me two seconds. Make yourself a brew. So, it's giveaway time. Yes, but I'm not giving it away 
via YouTube. I'm going to promote it here on YouTube as I'm promoting it anywhere. But I'm giving away oh, this beautiful acrylic A3 4 or 5 mil acrylic of the Shropshire landscape took for a sunrise um, a few weeks back. So uh, down near Ironbridge this was. I'm giving this away on my Facebook page. Okay. So head over to Chrisography79 on Facebook, like the page, comment on the picture, share the picture, the usual stuff, share the page, share the picture, share it all, comment on everything, tell me how bloody amazing it is and how you want that on your wall. Now, the one I'm giving away is not actually this one, it's exactly the same picture, but it's got the drilled holes and the, the little gubbins to fit onto your wall basically, so, and it's got a cover on now, so it's protected during the post, of which it will be posted in a box, obviously. Now, it's UK only, sorry once again, but I'm not giving free stuff away and then paying postage to go abroad. It, it's not worth the aggro. Um, everything has its price. If you want one, you can go over to the merch store. <laughs> there isn't really a merch store, but on Christography 79, any picture that is on there can be made as a print. Simple as that, it can be printed on card, paper, um, we've got this mottled paper which is quite cool, acrylic, foam, stickers, posters, you name it, I can get it made and I can get it anywhere in the world, but everything comes with a cost, so giveaway, I'm just sticking with this country, it costs me enough to post this as it is, but if you would like this on your wall or as a gift or as a giveaway for yourself or whatever, then um, head over to Chrisography79, like, share, comment and yes, you could be a winner, I will draw the names, probably do one of those random number things or something, I don't know yet, I haven't got that far, I'll leave it running for a couple of weeks, and then, um, yeah, we'll get it posted out and sorted out via Facebook, not via here, so there's no point commenting in here, um, but yeah, leave a comment anyway about what you thought about the uh, the toy car photo, you know, it was good fun to do, it was something to, to still get stuck into in these quite hard times, um, other than that, really, no trains, how about that? Not one train. I have actually filmed this entire second segment once already, but the focus on my other lens is going weird. It's fine when I'm using it. I think it struggles picking up me compared to the background on the wide angle when I sit further back, which I had to sit further back today so we could get my desk in so I could build. So um, I think that's all it is. I hope that's all it is. I don't want to be buying new lenses. Not really. So anyway, once again, <clears throat> I've rabbited on. Thank you very much for watching, and until the next video which will be, no doubt, carrying this five and a half stone lens around. I will uh, see you again. Peace out.